Hi, I'm Don. Today we're painting a resin miniature from Creature Caster. This painting is basically a warm-up project since I've been busy with assembly and playing board games for the past couple of weeks. So this video is a simple sketch and glaze video and we'll turn the model into this. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. Also, I'm an affiliate partner with PK Pro, the biggest web store in Europe, and my patrons get a 5% discount. Now, let's paint. When I started shifting or taking miniature painting seriously la around May last year, so a little more than a year ago, I was overwhelmed with all the techniques and how to paint minis when I watch so many videos of different YouTubers and it was basically very overwhelming. Most videos were very helpful and inspiring. However, there are a few that I no longer watch those channels because there's this one video saying that you can't paint NMM with washes. Basically, you can't paint NMM like you're painting TMM. And that stuck to me. It was frustrating trying not to do that. But these days, I'm not following all those pointers because you paint differently. I mean, every person paints differently and you can't say that you can do this or you can't do this because other people might find it frustrating if you say some things like, like that. Also, long-time subscribers know that I try to simplify painting methods that are really basic but you'll end up with a fairly good painted miniature after just 4, 5, or even 6 hours. <laughs> the point here is that you can keep it simple and still come up with good quality miniatures. Of course, you won't win any awards or something like that, but you'll be happy with the final result. As you can see in this video, I started with just very basic painting of the base colors and after painting the base colors we are now sketching or value sketching via dry brush the base dry brushing is really fun and for detailed very detailed miniatures it kind of brings out the details a bit more the key here is to apply less pressure as the colors get lighter also, do not unload the paint too much. It will be frustrating. Now we do the actual sketching. By sketching here, I mean blocking off lighter colors. We're applying the paint via layering. All of you know that I prefer glaze layering or glaring because it produces most like it produces softer and smoother transitions. However, this was sort of an experiment if I can pull off really rough layering and sketching of colors and fine tune it with glazes later. We see a ton of videos doing base color painting and then glazing and then layering and then glazing and then layering again and glazing. So that could be daunting, a daunting painting procedure or method for some people. With most people doesn't really have the time to glaze half of their life. Actually, even layering, you could like spend a ton of hours doing really intricate and really nice layering by mixing a lot of colors. But again, not most people have the luxury of spending so much time on one miniature. Now we're sketching the highlights or highlighting and basically we're very carefree again here. We're just painting like a really stark contrast color a very light color on top of the base colors so i'm not focused on really good blending of the layering and i'm just sketching highlight colors that are actually far from the base color this gives me really good contrast but 
it is rough and we will refine this with glazes later. This video shows you that you can be relaxed, you can be carefree with the colors you apply on a model and then you can fine tune it later if you want to but you don't really have to if you're happy with the result of the sketching already. Also, most of the videos used here is real time. Yes, it's real time, but a few are two times and not any faster than that. It means that I'm painting really fast because I'm not thinking of the blending or the glazing or any complex stuff. I'm just applying the colors. I did nothing different with the painting of this miniature if you compare it with my older videos. However, you will notice that I'm not mixing the colors too much. Even here, the NMM, I'm painting a really, really bright, like highlight color already. None of the mid-tones and I did not spend half of my lifetime in the painting of the NMM. I was confident in the painting of the NMM that I can tone down all the scratches and highlights with washes later. So instead of the usual mixing of colors and applying many many colors via layering, I'm jumping to really high contrast highlight colors and we plan to tone this down later. Now this is like the main experiment of the video. I'm painting fairy flesh on the skin tone. Normally I will mix fairy flesh with the previous skin color to come up with a very smooth transition. I would even add a bit of glaze medium around three parts paint and one part medium to really have a smooth transition. But this one I'm keeping it really rough so that you can see later in the video if we can pull it off. So even though the highlights of the skin and the highlights of the rest of the model are very sharp and one could say very rough, the point or the key here is to keep it clean, keep the coverage solid, apply around two thin coats before you do the oil lazy wash and glazes. Now in this part of the video, you can see it was a bit of an experiment if the oil washes and oil glazes can save or smoothen our rough layering earlier. And it did not. <laughs> However, the oils did give me very saturated washes similar to what inks could give me. The main difference of inks and oils is that I'm a bit more carefree with the oils because if you add too much, if you apply too much or your washes were too thick, that, thus I call them oil glazes sometimes because I apply thick washes, you could always wipe it off if you apply too much. Also, you'll notice that our rough dry brushing of the base and also the rough NMM became really nice looking after the oil washes. Key here was to clean up the excess and for the NMM, clean up the blade or the edge of the axe to give it a really nice NMM look. So even though we painted very flat scratches, meaning the same color on the NMM, after applying the oils, it came out really good. So if you're in the fringe of buying oil paints, is it are oil paints worth it? Well, it is for me. Oil washes and oil painting is especially great if you're batch painting or you're, you're painting bigger miniatures. I do recommend you buy the good, a bit expensive oil paints and Gamsol because they are worth it and they will last you for a while. I do not recommend those pre-thinned hobby oil stuff. They're not as versatile. Now here is the caveat of doing rough layering. Now we do need to do some glazes. I'm using 
glaze medium mix around one part paint and two parts glaze medium or even three parts and i'm slowly like softening the transitions of the skin so if your sketching is rough meaning you did not apply more colors via layering or did not do any glaze layering of course you'll do more glazes but if you spend a bit more time on your layering you'll do less glazes now it's time for our golden lemon reveal but before we do our golden lemon reveal i would like to thank all my patrons for making this channel very active and very much possible i currently have more than 100 patrons but special thanks to my highest tier patrons my adamantium patrons also our discord channel is managed by cindy nolan and she organized a hashtag spooky October and these are the entries in our discord channel <laughs> obviously obviously this video is late because this was for last month and this was again this was spooky October for the month of November it's no November which is basically painting of fur Patrons get access to our Discord channel, so do join the fun. Now it's time for our Golden Lemon Reveal. So I guess we kinda pulled it off. So even though our sketching, our layering was kinda rough, and the contrast is too much, and the differences of the colors are very sharp, we kind of clean that up and smoothen the transitions with oils and acrylic glazing. So the main lesson here, especially if you're just starting out painting miniatures, is to keep it simple. I mean, just paint the base colors really clean as neatly as you can. The separation of the elements should be really defined and then build up from there. I hope you saw in this video that you can be carefree in terms of applying the colors and the base colors of the model and even the layering. You don't really have to focus on the blending while you're applying the colors. Then once you're done with the base colors, you can simply sketch in lighter colors or different colors on top of the base color and you just trust the process and then you do glazes. Thus, I call this video Sketch and Glaze. That's it, Pansit. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!